after you watch this video you ain't never gonna pay another collection ever again in your life okay for this scenario let's say i lend you some money but this contract states that you have to pay me back on a monthly basis a couple months pass by and you aren't paying me my money so you go 30 days without paying me my money 60 days without paying me my money 90 days without paying my money and so on and so forth so then it comes a point where it's 150 days then 180 days and you still haven't paid me my money so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna assume that i'm not gonna get the money from you and i'm gonna write it off as a loss when i write it off as a loss i stop trying to collect the money from you I understand that I'm not going to be able to collect the money from you anymore. So let's say my brother comes in the picture and says, hey, let me buy your debt off of you for pennies on the dollar. I like, right, cool. I'm not going to get no money from you, but I'm going to get some money from him. At least it's a little bit. So what my brother is going to do is that he's going to buy your debt off of me. And now he's going to go and try to collect it from you. But the thing is, you know me. You don't know my brother and you see there's no contract involved with you and my brother. So how can my brother try to collect your debt that was originally owed to me? This is why you are going to send my brother a debt validation letter. Because what my brother did is he just bought a screenshot of your debt from me. And since you sent my brother a debt validation letter, he's not going to be able to validate the debt because all he has is a screenshot. So with that being said, he can't collect this from you because he can't validate the debt and it has to be re removed from your credit report. So in this scenario, I was the furnisher and my brother was the collection agency. Now you tell me if this makes sense. It don't. Stop paying these companies and follow me for more information.